actually um, really enjoyed the game. I liked the movement because I'm more of a visual person, so I like seeing where I can go. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Overall, uh, it, it, it feels like there's a lot going on when you're first looking at it, but after the first few turns, all that, all of it makes sense, even though there's a million little squares on the board. It, it, all, it all kind of flows together. It's really interesting. I'm going to back it. You look at this board and it just looks like uh, there's a lot going on. It's really intimidating when you take a glance at it. But as soon as you understand what's going on, it's not complex at all to understand what you need to do on your turn. Really good game. For as complex as it looks, it really isn't. Um, you have a lot of things going on, but it's all manageable. You never really feel overwhelmed. You can get blocked, but you also have other options. You have multiple places to go to do the same thing. So yeah, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. It also does a really good job on like optimization, where there's a bunch of different ways to do the things you want to do. So it's all about picking the most efficient way to do it. So the game very rarely like blocks you and stops you from being able to do a thing. It's just figuring out the most efficient way. So in that way, the game can feel really rewarding and very giving, but at the same time, it's very tight and constraining in the construction of the game with kind of how you get resources and how you use them. So it's good. My first impressions when looking at it, it's an extremely busy board. Uh, it's a little intimidating to start with, but once you got into a turn or two, uh, the mechanics were pretty smooth, streamlined. Uh, everything made sense. I thought overall it was a pretty solid game. Uh, I enjoyed it. A lot of different paths to victory, which I enjoy in a game. So, definitely. Thumbs up. I thought it was a good game. A uh, lot going on, but it's very simple, easy to learn. Solid game. I'd back it. When you look at it, it's a little overwhelming, but I was able to get into it pretty quickly. I like that it's a little heavier. I'd back it. I think it's not too long, and it's understandable. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It has a little bit of long-term strategy, which is really good, because uh, you, once you get the, once you speak the language of Yokohama, I think you can get the game a lot better than just looking at it. Because at first glance, it's pretty intimidating, because there's so many symbols and so many things going on. But after you get one round in, it'll be a breeze, and you know how it is. The length, the length for weight is excellent, because the length is not too long, but there's a nice heavy feel to it, but not overwhelming. For length. So, I'd enjoy it. I'm back in. Really good game, heavy, uh, easy once you understand all the iconography, uh, a lot of different options, so really like it, like the Japanese theme on it, but solid, solid game. Uh, I don't know, it's a really good engine sort of building and um, a lot of strategic depth and, and long-term planning. Um, to uh, try to look at the goals that you can reach and try to take them away before somebody else gets them. This was a really good game. I really find think that people that enjoy heavy games are going to like it. I think people that just enjoy even medium weight games are going to be able to grasp it and play with it. The systems are very clean. The systems work very well. There's a lot of strategic choices, but also there's a lot of depth of gameplay. The board and everything, when it's all set up, looks overwhelming, but it really isn't, and it's really, like, within a turn, it completely makes sense. Everything flows together, everything makes sense, everything's intuitive, and I really find that the game is a very enjoyable game. Uh, as far as the mechanisms, my favorite mechanism is the ability to move your pawn to a place, but that you can build power with the cubes by the more <laughs> actions that you place onto a onto a space when you move your pawn there, you get a much more powerful action and be able to be able to build that was really satisfying. I, I enjoyed Yokohama, it's a pretty good game. Um, like everybody else said I enjoyed the the mechanism where you could build up workers, move to a spot, activate a action that was better than a normal action because you had more workers there accumulated. I felt there was a lot of player interaction. Um, it was definitely not a multiplayer solitaire game. There's a lot of interaction with where you're at on the board, where everyone else is at on the board, how you can move there, if you got to pay them coins. Um, definitely, there's a lot here. I loved it. I want to play it again right now um, and beat this guy. But yeah, I am definitely going to back it on Kickstarter. I'm going to go for the deluxe edition and. I wanted to play it again. In fact, I need to play it again. The variable setup and the degree to which that will change the game every time you play it is probably the big hook for me anyway. 
In fact, the components as is is really nice as what I'm playing right here, but if they're going to be even better, I think a deluxe version would be insane. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, it reminded me um, a lot. It's like a kind of reverse Istanbul in regards to your princesses and your president and how you lay out paths. Um, it's a lot more interesting and, and strategic than Istanbul, which is really great. Uh, I definitely like... I mean, seriously, I would like. I want to buy this now as it is, but now that I know that there's a deluxe version, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait, obviously, and get the deluxe. It was a good game. It's really good. It's um, it's got some elements of some other games that I played before, but the variable setup of the game is gonna change the dynamic of it. I think that uh, there's a really cool ability to take a single path in the game and follow it hard. That's basically what I did, but there's also areas to branch out and get points in a lot of different ways. A very interesting uh, movement um, because you, you've got a worker placement in the form of your assistants, but that allows you to move to where you can actually take your actions. I really like the mechanic. Definitely kickstarting this. Thank you very much for bringing it. Very pleased.